Today we're going to take a little tour of uh, what's basically a main street in Hiron, Garcia Moreno. Check out that road there across the valley. You see all the mudslides from all that rain? It's really showing up now that it's drying out. So this house they were working on and work stalled for a while and they finally finished it and somebody's moved in. Hey! Hello, my favorite mountain. I hereby dub the Witch's Hat Mountain. Did I ever mention the public pool right next to my house? It's just down the hill, only well, equivalent of one block away. It's a little tienda next to the pool. A little neighborhood store. They've been doing a lot of work on it lately. Um, fixing those gates and painting the stones and scrubbing the front and doing all kinds of things. They've been out here the last month chipping away at it. Okay, this is about two blocks from my house. Come down here to the main intersection. There's seven tiendas from my house to this point. Seven. And here's where the buses come. And they stop over there. And they stop there. And the one for San Fernando stops right there. Now I've got some chores to do. Walk down the main street. That's the corner I was just on, telling you about the tiendas. I didn't even count the couple right there. And then there's another one over there. And to the right, down the street, on the right, there's a couple more. All next to each other. So I was right there on the corner where that guy's standing. And we're going to come down this way. And right there those two doors. That's a tienda that I usually do my quick shopping at. To those that like this sort of thing, let me blow this up. See that sign there that says Jessica? That's an all-natural juice bar. You can get any kind of vegetables or fruit you want. Just a little further down the street, going down the hill, that right there, we call him the Plastic Man. He's got everything imaginable made out of plastic. All from China, all dirt cheap. That's where I got my trash cans from. Not to be morbid, but with all those funerals lately, you see right there on the corner, um, I can't tell if you can see in the doorway, but those are all caskets. Cell phone stores, um, just general stores, and down there is a couple more tiendas. Right here in the corner is a bakery. Um, my favorite bakery is that one right there with the blue sign. Amazingly good, unbelievably cheap. Okay, here's my favorite bank in town, Banco del Ostro. Um, that's the ATM, and um, that's where I that's where I go all the time when I need. It's funny because my bank is Jep and Pachincha. I actually am going to cancel the Pachincha and get this bank. Um, they're great to work with, and they're everywhere, including here. And it's my favorite roast pig in town. It's yummy. 
There's another one, uh, but they oversold it. These people, I don't even know if they put salt on it. It's perfect for me. Now, if had, having pigeons and dogs roam around where there's food uh, grosses you out, I'll tell you right now, you're coming to the wrong place. Abogado. That's a lawyer. There's about eight on this street. Eight offices. And now we've come down to the park. That's the grandstand I was telling you about. They were assembling, they were welding up. Beautiful flowering trees. One of the multitude of pharmacies here. And here's a taxicab business. And as many of you know, to the right of the, ch the park is, or to the left of the park is the church. And this monument is to all the people that left here for economic reasons and went to the United States. Seriously. So I've got some major street work. And I suppose he's the supervisor. Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, and right there is the other pork restaurant. So I decided to come to the other one for lunch. And hopefully there's no salt. I asked her not to add any, so we'll see. It's a little dining room in the front. It's a little one here. And one here and one back there. Here's my lunch. He's coming a little plate. Give you a little perspective. Okay, I was asked this before, but here's in detail. I just paid my light, water, and garbage. Luz, agua, y basura. And here is the garbage, the lights, and the water. <clears throat> it's pretty much the same every month. So here's a little tale of a small town. Uh, see that pharmacy right there? It's on a parallel street to the one uh, this video is talking about. I need to stop and pick up medicine. I have to take it probably for another year. And it's $42 a box of 36, one a day. And so I went in and I gave him $45. He didn't have change. So he made it $40 and wished me a good day. Small town life. Okay, this museum, I have yet to go in. The lady who watches it is always waving for me to come in and I'm always, I'm always on my way to do something. Um, and they, they close this late in the afternoon. But it's a museum that's all about the treaty signed with Peru uh, when Peru invaded Ecuador, they took all this land all the way up to Hinon and to the east of it. And there was a battle here. Um, there's quite a history on that. So I've got to go in there. The treaty was signed right here in this town and that museum is all about it. So one day I'll do that and we'll do a video about it. I just noticed Look at the clouds in the back. They're just dropping right down. You see that back there? I live up on that hill, so my, my house is up in the clouds at this moment. And further behind that, not too far, is the El Choro Waterfalls. And if anybody's interested in that and um, needs to know how to get out here and, and do that, just send me an email. Um, it's definitely a place to see. This year they've installed a new canopy zip line, uh, so I think it's I think it's five or ten dollars. Um, so that's something you might be interested in, also. 
and when you come out here I suggest just stay overnight um, well email me and I'll tell you all about it I think these are opera cakes but just as a comparison they're 50 cents a piece here and Tuto Fredo I think they're maybe 350 okay so on the way back did a little shopping a little miscommunication I asked for seven or eight of these she gave me five pounds she was on her way up to eight pounds but that's okay I go through a lot of carrots eggs there's six and one thrown in four tomatoes one pound of peas two or three onions turned into two or three pounds but again that's okay I go through them a lot and one complete feet and head chicken that weighs probably I don't know eight pounds hard to say it's a it's a heavy one and it cost me sixteen dollars and why do why do you care <laughs> Uh, understand something about these videos much of what I put in these videos are based on questions that people ask me I was asked about that street and what else was on it um, I was asked about do I buy local and if I do what do I get and what does it cost and most most of my shopping is at super maxi you know things like uh, you know like this it's okay you can cut around it it's not bad but I prefer to pay a little more and have all of that done for me, but uh, it's just a matter of preference. There's nothing wrong with, with doing this. So that's it for today. See you later. You know you could.